Today is Sunday. That means we're talking about another Supermarket Sunday tea. If you're curious to see what we're talking about, stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie and uh, here on the channel we talk all about different tea subjects. Um, make sure you uh, subscribe to my Instagram, which is here, and I always post when a new video is up. That way you never miss. And then uh, also make sure those um, notifications are on so you know when I upload. Uh, but today we are talking about another supermarket tea. And I love this series because we are taking a look at some teas in the supermarket that I think deserve some attention. Um, today's tea was actually requested by a subscriber. And so it was asked to review the Celestial Seasonings Sweet Harvest Pumpkin Tea. Now this is more of, I don't honestly know if it's seasonal where it's just for the fall because when I looked on their site, you can get it on Celestial Seasoning site, you can get it on Amazon, so I'll have links below where to find it. Um, so I don't know, but I figured since it's still available, we'll go ahead and review this. And I know my um, some of the grocery stores in my area, Kroger, Schnucks, they sell the Celestial Seasonings, this particular tea, in the... Um, the fall time and I guess too you know that maybe is another aspect of supermarket Sunday where if you're purchasing from the Amazon grocery section then maybe that does constitute grocery so um, it says you can get it on Amazon we're just going to include it into this series so sweet harvest pumpkin Celestial seasonings, it always comes in a cardboard box. Mine's kind of beat up, but um, inside the tea is in a wax container. I just put it in a series of plastic bags to keep it fresh. I should actually recycle some of my old um, David's tea tins and put the tea in there. It would keep it fresh. But it says... Let's see, blend master notes. Just like a perfectly baked pumpkin pie, this delicious autumnal blend evokes the flavor of a brisk fall day. Featuring rich black tea, harvest fresh pumpkin flavor, and traditional spices like cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, plus a touch of sweetness, this festive blend is a delicious little slice of harvest time. And our ingredients, and, and let me show you too, the tea comes in what they call their pillow pack, which is um, an environmentally friendly pack. There's no, uh, no glues, it, it's heat sealed, no tags, no staples, and uh, it's, you know, no plastic. So you safe to use those. Ingredients, black tea, cinnamon, ginger, roasted chicory, natural pumpkin flavor with other natural flavors, uh, Lu Han Gu, I don't know what that is actually, cloves, nutmeg, stevia extract and sweetener, or stevia extract is a sweetener, and pumpkin. So I went and um, Googled what Luol Han Gao is um, because I was very curious. I've never really run across that. And it says that um, dried, it has a nutty smell and a flavor that has been described as caramel and toffee-like. And you can actually, there's a monk fruit sweetener made from that that has no calories. So, um, okay. So, I don't know if it is added for sweetness or to impart a caramel flavor, um, but that's what it is. So, I learned something new. Okay, so I do have it steeped up. Again, it comes in these little pillow packs. I add two for a Nordic mug of this size. This is a Davis Tea Nordic mug, and it says, um, drink tea, be happy. So, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Uh, so it smells 
It honestly smells pumpkin-y. Like what you would what you would think of a pumpkin tea smelling like, that's what it smells like. Okay. So this one, it does have the first thing you get is that sweetness, but I do not find the sweetness in this to be obnoxious or distracting. It's actually complements the flavor of this tea very nicely. And then you get that pumpkin. I'm getting definitely distinct caramely kind of flavor. And then some of that spice on the end, like, um, I don't know, cinnamon, clove, that type of uh, to spice. The black tea is there, but it's very mellow. Um, really, the overwhelming flavor I kind of get in here is definitely a caramel note. Um, and it's interesting because would I have picked up on a caramel note had I not looked up the description of what that ingredient was? You know, you, you wonder how much of flavor is triggered by mind. But um, I love this tea. I think it is very good. It is a solid pumpkin tea and probably one of my favorite autumn pumpkin teas. It's, it's wonderful. Mm. And I do feel that, you know, celestial seasonings, I think a lot of people, you, you see it in the grocery store and um, it is immediately dismissed as being subpar, uh, discount, budget tea, but they actually make very good teas. And I've said this before, do not let the affordable price point fool you. They are actually really good teas. Their peppermint tea is a favorite. I love the Tension Tamer, which I'll uh, link the video review up here for that one. Um, they really have some awesome teas. And if I were going to tell somebody like what, you know, I, I want to try tea, which, what, which one is the one I need to get from the grocery store? I would um, definitely refer someone to uh, Celestial Seasonings. Their Bengal Spice Tea, which is their chai, is fantastic. Um, and, you know, I, I have tried many, many of their teas. And I don't know if maybe I feel so passionate, aside from the flavor, when I toured their facility in Boulder and it was just a phenomenal experience. I highly recommend that if you were going through that area, check it out. It is worth your time. And I, after, so much like many of you probably, you know, before I went on that, uh, went out on that tour, much like many of you, I, I kind of did think, oh, maybe it's just not that good a quality. After I went on that tour and I really kind of found out what they're about and how they source their ingredients and I really uh, developed a new appreciation for them and um, maybe the tea, I do feel like maybe the teas tasted different because my perception of them changed. But I, I do, I love their teas and I think this one is an excellent one if you like pumpkin, uh, it's got that nice pumpkin flavor, a hint of the spice, a little bit of sweetness. I I like this one a lot. So I think if you like pumpkin, I would certainly give it a go and, and uh, try it. So that is my look today at Sweet Harvest Pumpkin from Celestial Seasonings. I give this one um, two thumbs up. I think it's a winner. And yeah, so questions, leave those below. Otherwise, we will see you next week for another Supermarket Sunday. Bye.